I did not record before I left because I kind of wanted to just leave after spending all that time finalizing in the morning. So right now I am about two hours out. I wanted to stop and get gas and also get some lunch. This is a half size green goddess cob salad from Panera Bread. And I wanted to let Riley out to pee and take a shit, but it is 90 degrees out here. So I couldn't really let her stay out very long. It was pretty hot for her anyways. And my camera is most likely gonna overheat on my dashboard if I talk for too long. I also got a mango smoothie. But yeah, I think uh, stopping for two hours was fine because I was starting to get tired already after freaking one hour and a half. So my first stop is going to be an Airbnb actually in somebody's home. It's gonna be a room but I booked it because it has a separate entrance and I should be able to go in and out without even interacting with the host. So I think that should be great. It was also very affordable, $50 for a night. And yeah, I didn't wanna spend 130 at a hotel. So that's why I decided to do this. And I'm really hoping that I don't even have to bring most of my stuff. Like I'm only gonna be in there to shower and hang out for the evening and then I'm gone in the morning. So. My luggage is pretty big. I don't want to carry that shit in there. But I also totally messed up this morning. Um, I forgot to put shampoo in my hair, so I put conditioner. And when I was blow drying my hair, I was like, my hair does not feel very clean compared to usual. Like not as light headed or whatever the freaking phrase is where it's like smooth and just like silky and like it didn't feel that way. It felt a little bit on the oily side so that's why I have my hat on normally I don't drive with my hat on but I don't really <laughs> like the way my hair looks today and I was really much too lazy to just go in and freaking get my hair completely wet again because I was blow drying my hair it was nearly dry by then so who cares today is mostly travel I don't need to look a certain way so I'm gonna take this time now to eat and then continue on my way I think I have about four hours and a half left from my house it was seven hours and a half so I'm already two hours in so actually maybe more like five hours Thank you. it is 5 36 right now actually let me check I don't know if I'm in mountain time zone yet ah I am so it's 6 37 I lost an hour and I have pretty much one hour left I stopped here at this smoothie place originally to get an acai bowl. Um, I have actually been trying very hard so far in the beginning of my trip to maintain eating healthy. So I had my salad and now I wanted a bowl, but I'll just drink a smoothie. And I believe I do have an hour left. Let me see. 47 minutes. At Southeast nice. Red Cliffs Drive. And I already filled up my gas. It's been such a long drive and it's been over 100 degrees for most of it, which really, really sucks. I feel bad for her. I can't wait to get to my first destination, mainly just because I'm freaking tired, man. I had to stop three-ish times so far because of being tired or wanting food and stuff. So I'm finally in the final stretch for my first day. Um, tomorrow, I think, will possibly be more exciting because it will be parts of the state that I've never been through, that I don't know what it looks like, and I feel like I'm gonna see some stuff that I'm gonna be really excited about. At least I think so. Um, I do think Idaho to Montana Drive will be really pretty, so I'm looking forward to that one. That is probably gonna be five hour drive, but anyways, let's get to my Airbnb and get settled. Finally, I am here, and I took a shower because my hair was really starting to bother me and I was just feeling icky from sweating all day, so now I feel super refreshed. It's close to about 8 o'clock, so I have quite a bit of time to myself, and I have to say, I am actually pretty impressed with this place. It's basically just a basement studio underneath somebody's house, and I think from the pictures, I figured it would be pretty good, but I'm actually really happy with it outside of, you know, the usual house noises and earlier. Just after I finished my shower, there was someone at my door, which kind of creaked me out. Um, my host didn't message me on Airbnb or anything to ask if I was here, so that did weird me out, but they're gone. So let me show you guys around. So here we are at the door. 
and we are welcomed by Riley. There is my Yeti cooler with my food. We got a desk, table, dining area. We have TV stand, TV. I most likely won't end up using it though since I am a bit lazy to set everything up, you know, connect my laptop to HDMI and whatever. So I'll just watch my movies on my laptop. Kitchen. Pretty well stocked, I'd say. Not really something I will end up using. And that is the evidence of Rylai's water drinking. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, sorry about that. I was interrupted by the host bringing me toothpaste because I asked them if they had any, but then I realized I actually remembered to bring mine. So let's continue. From where I was standing earlier, the chair was kind of blocking the way, so we have a table here. We've got a nice couch, a little, what the fuck do you call this, footrest thing? Ottoman, maybe? Uh, lounging, is this called a chase? <laughs> I don't know what the hell furniture names are called, so we have this. Uh, my freaking luggage. I was actually thinking it's gonna suck for me to carry this luggage and my Yeti cooler, to each of my destinations. I'm gonna be stopping at three freaking Airbnbs. Well, I guess technically five because I'm gonna be coming here now and then next one and then next one and then next one and then during my drive back. I'll most likely book this place again because honestly, I am really, really happy with it. I just think it's so nice. This, all of this for it turned out to be 58 a night total. And to be honest, it really does feel like I have it all to myself. All right, we have the bathroom through here. So nice little quaint bathroom. I took my shower earlier. It was very comfortable. And a little bit more of my stuff. Well, that is it. Hmm, I'm not really sure what I want to do first. Do I want to try playing some Underlords or do I want to watch a movie? I will definitely be working out. The good thing is I will have enough time to do all of that. So. Uh, you know, it's really weird though. I have to say that, here, let me take a seat. Ugh. I do have to say that ever since I started playing a ton of Dota and since I've been streaming, I was actually thinking a lot lately these past few days about wondering whether I would really, really miss playing Dota for two weeks and streaming as well because I have been obsessing over a rank and I didn't manage to get Divine before I left. That really bothered me a little bit. That's just the way it works. It will be kind of up and down, so I have to get used to it. I just started my trip and technically I haven't actually gone to the places that I plan to yet. So I think with everything that I'm going to end up seeing and experiencing, it should be fine. Honestly, during the drive, I am just so happy to see all this stuff. Sometimes when I'm on the road, I feel such freedom and then happiness when I see all this stuff. Like Utah is such a beautiful state, honestly, gorgeous state. Sometimes I'm a little sad that I don't stop and take pictures and take video, but I find it hard to do that because if I do, I would want to stop constantly because there's so many things worth seeing just off the side of the road. So. My first day of driving was okay, half and half. I feel like it tends to be like that. And the weird thing is it tends to suck the most in the beginning or maybe like, yeah, maybe it is kind of up and down because I think by the one and a half hour mark, I started getting pretty tired, so I stopped. I think I went to get lunch at three to four hour mark. And then after that, I was really having a hard time by like the five to six hour mark. So I pulled over and I tried to take a nap. The thing is, it's hard to do that around here because the area I was driving through was 110 degrees. So if I stopped and tried to nap, I had to leave my car on just for the AC and you know, making sure that she is not getting overheated because I'm more concerned about her than me. I can tolerate heat way better than she can. But honestly, after that little stop, I had an hour and 47 minutes left 
and I just felt so alert for that last segment of my drive. And I always wonder why I feel certain ways throughout my drive. Like it would be nice to be alert through most of it. And I certainly try, but there's sometimes those moments where you really just can't stay awake for the life of you. I would try to scroll down the window. Sometimes I go like this, <laughs> like I do this, honestly, none of it works. I have to get out and walk around. So I honestly think I could have w driven even further than where I'm at now, but I think it's good not to push it because I did a lot of driving today. Now I'm here, tomorrow I'm gonna do just as much driving and then I'm gonna get to my destination. So I get to relax now and it's going to be great. Okay, workout is done and I decided to buy some actual dinner. I don't feel like a smoothie is enough, honestly, and today I didn't really eat much. Why aren't you sleeping? She was really zonked out while I was working out. Now the smell of food has her excited. I also managed to connect the laptop to the TV through HDMI. Since I won't have access to internet through Wi-Fi for my latter two Airbnbs, maybe I should take advantage of having internet here and play some stuff in the meantime. Good morning. I am just about to head out to my next destination. But let me see if I can get some breakfast around here first. But yeah, at first I was anticipating um, taking a walk around the neighborhood and hoping that I could see some nice views. But I think that I'm kind of central to Cedar City that I wouldn't be able to just easily see it. Unfortunately, if I go to Wendy's, I probably wouldn't really... I would just get like nuggets or something. Ugh. Oh, it is actually near the highway. All right, I'll go. I go. And then I need to put my next destination, Victor, Idaho. Long ass fucking trip today. Okay, it's freaking hot in the car. West toward west. You gotta get going. She's hot also for sure. Let's hope this is a very, very lovely drive. <clears throat> Right now, I am stopped in Provo, Utah, and I got myself an acai bowl, and I also filled up my gas, so I will be heading back out shortly. The main reason that I know about Provo, Utah is because of Robert Redford. <laughs> um, from looking him up and stuff, he's like one of my favorite old school actors. Um, he is very well known for Utah, he created the Sundance Film Festival. Soon though, I will be driving through Salt Lake City. So I looked forward to seeing that. And then I'm gonna keep making my way all the way up north to Victor, Idaho. <laughs> Aw, so I decided to stop at a rest area shortly after entering Idaho. Ready, go. Ooh, that was a good throw. Oh, nice catch. I wonder how long she'll last. It's actually not super hot out, but it's definitely hotter than usual. Height, uh, fetching temperature. Nice catch! <laughs> Good girl! Go. Oh shit. Bad throw. Too high. Oh! <laughs> oh. I am finally almost there. Uh, I just stopped by. Right now, I am in Idaho Falls and I picked up some house special fried rice from this place called Yummy's House, I think. So, got me some Chinese food. And now, I do believe I have about an hour left. Let's see. Head southeast on West Broadway Street towards uh, Shoop Avenue. Oh, fuck. An hour 20? All right, if it's an hour 20, I'm gonna eat a little bit right now because I'm really hungry. My stomach was kind of like uh, not being pleased, so I'm gonna take a few bites just to tide myself over, and then I'll eat the rest when I get back. Oops. I can't wait. <gasps> Ooh, hiccups. <gasps> oh crap. All right, one hour 20. I'll be there in no time. Freaking hiccups.
Oh, she's going to get all wet. <laughs> all right. It's time for me to eat my dinner with bees views. I love it so far. This is so fucking beautiful. I feel like I'm gonna have tears well up in my eyes from the beauty. Fair amount of land. How the hell is the sun still so high up when it's almost 8 o'clock? I don't get it. Break. Good. <laughs> She thought the water was in the left one. So the host designated that I use these doggy bowls. So Shane reminded me that it's going to be light out here for quite a while, maybe until like 10 p.m. So I was thinking I want to take advantage more of being outside. So maybe I'll bring his laptop and maybe watch something outside or maybe I can even freaking play Underlords outside. But I still think that's... Uh, a really great idea it's still gorgeous weather out it's amazing i want to watch the sunset if i can unless it's like freaking 10 to 11 pm then that might be a little late i guess i'll show you guys the interior in a little bit i want to kind of unwind a little bit i really really like the cabin it's small but it's very cozy so at first i was a little concerned because he apparently lives right there in a garage apartment but if he's not going to be around much, then I'm not really going to mind. Okay, it's time to show you guys around. Here we have our host, Rylai Wang. Just a little area off to the side. I'm guessing that's a closet with stuff, which I probably won't even use. And then across, we've got some lovely stuff hanging against the wall. And, uh... I actually do admit the freaking cabin feel is incredible. The kitchen is very neat. It's small, but it's very cute and I am very impressed with it. I'm so glad that the fridge is a normal sized one so I can put my food in there. I already have. There is my Yeti. It took a while to unpack because the ice got like really frozen in one piece and you know, here, I'll show you guys. This is what the ice looked like after two whole days and I didn't really move anything. I got to my first Airbnb and I just left my food in here. So at the very bottom, this thing right here is the Yeti ice pack and I'm probably gonna just take it out after the ice is gone or melt it a bit more because I don't wanna deal with this, it's too cold. I put the ice in here for melting. That's her food. I need to set a timer for like 30 minutes so I can feed it to her after it's done. A nice ass cozy couch. So, wow, this is a bit far though. That TV is so freaking small. Yeah, this is a bit far. I might have to sit in that chair, like right in the center. That TV's way too small, I think. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. And now, the go-to bedroom. Nice big ass bed. Honestly, the drive over here was amazing. I don't even know how to put into words how amazing it was. I took videos and took a few pictures, but just on either side, there were some rolling plains and it was so green. Like the grass was so freaking green and just looked perfect and then sometimes there would be like a field of yellow flowers and also I was so freaking jealous oh hold on I got interrupted by the damn host so this is just the bathroom nice and petite and cozy and then this is what you see right when you walk in I wanted to record her playing because she was being kind of hyper <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
everybody. It is 6.44. I got here super early because I was concerned about parking. And I will say that it might be a bit early. I wonder if I could push it to 8 next time. But I'm not sure what I plan to do the next two days. So for today, I think I will just try to do as much as I can before I leave, as much as I feel like at least, because to be honest, the one hour drive to the park felt really freaking long. So I want to at least make the most of my first day here. It's still kind of, I mean, it's light out, but it's not entirely fully bright. I'm going to do the Jenny Lake Trailhead round loop or whatever the fuck it's called first. That one's a pretty easy one and I think the views there should be gorgeous. Good god. This is gorgeous. It's a little chilly this morning. I'm kind of regretting not wearing a sweatshirt right now. Oh man. Oh man, I wish Riley could see this. Magnificent. Right now, I'm about to cross a stream. It's a little problematic right now because I don't know what trail I'm on. I think I have an idea because I've been checking the map like crazy, which kind of sucked too because I was stupid and I didn't download the map to my phone. And uh, the visitor centers aren't open until like 8 a.m. So nothing was available. So while I was hiking over, I was trying to download the map with, you know, spotty internet connection, and I did manage to get it. I am pretty sure I am on the amphitheater trail, like going to the lake. So because when I followed the map from where I must have gone, it makes the most sense. But I guess I'm kind of underestimating the distance because I have... I'm kind of expecting the lake by now, but I I actually can't imagine where the lake might be because from where I'm going, I see no signs of any body of water. And I guess the other thing that's interesting is that I have not come across anybody yet. Um, I came across two people closer to the visitor center, which is typical but out here literally nobody so this is my first time hiking in bear country so i have been periodically clapping and shit or if i'm like reading stuff off my phone i'm trying to talk out loud just to make them aware that i'm here i'm a little bit scared to be honest i mean it would be exciting to see one but i'd rather not see one and feel safe finally found the lake Good. <laughs> I am basically where I thought I would be. Thank goodness. Oh god. The sun is like destroying my eyes, but I'm pretty sure this must look fantastic. And now it's going away. Aww. So I'm an idiot that gets creeped out easily, and I came walking by and I saw this and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I think that like if I tend to see any animal that is not a squirrel in the wilderness, I get startled. Okay, right now I am at the Coulter Bay Visitor Center. This is the one far north in the park. So I originally was at Jenny Lake and I drove all the way up here. Oh man, someone's butt crack. Um, along the way, it was pretty smooth driving. And you know, a lot of the turnout spots where you can go and take pictures don't seem to have that many people or most likely it's because it's early in the morning. It is nine o'clock now. Another weird thing is that there was nobody at the entrance of the park. So I didn't pay a fee to come in here and I am confused about that because I have never entered a freaking park before without paying the fee. I needed to buy new sunglasses and I'm sad about that because I really liked my other pair. Uh, my fucking Chanel sunglasses. I'm pretty sure I lost them when I went to Vegas because I just stopped 
seeing them after that trip and that really bums me out because that was an expensive ass pair and the story behind that pair is just that several years prior to me buying it I saw the Chanel advertisement for their spring and summer I think it was their spring and summer campaign and I saw a woman wearing those sunglasses and I really liked them so years later after I moved to San Diego and I went shopping with Shane I remembered that pair so when we were in the Chanel store I thought about that pair or I think I saw it on the wall I saw it on the wall and I was like oh man I remember these and I really really liked the quilted uh, side sides of the sunglasses so damn me talking about it is making me feel poorly about losing such an expensive pair I don't know if I really like these design wise I feel like I wanted aviators because I always thought they looked pretty cool but I never wanted multiple pairs of sunglasses I only want one so the thing is I don't know if I like the fact that it's this shape if you know what I mean uh, I can't really describe the alternative shape of aviators that I would have preferred but one of the bad things is I somehow apparently already scratched this pair there's a fucking line right here and aside from that I still occasionally get pressure over here and I don't really like that so for now though I have to keep these because these were on sale and it's from Quay Australia that was a brand I started hearing about more because people on YouTube were talking about it and there are multiple collaborations with this brand and I feel like they've gotten kind of popular I do hope I see a bit more wildlife while I'm here. I did see that whatever the fuck it is, I don't know what it is, beaver looking thing. But yeah, I guess maybe two more hikes for today and then I'll head home. I'm not sure if I'm in the mood to do another hike after with Riley once I get back. I feel like that could possibly be excessive. So. I guess I'll see. It also depends on how long it takes to drive to the hike. I think if it's way too far, I'm definitely not in the mood for that. If I'm not, I can always just fetch with her on the property and I'm sure she'll enjoy that just as much. The sound of the water actually is so nice. So right now I have this area all to myself. I think this is Jackson Lake and it took quite a while to get out here. Well, it felt like a while, but maybe miles wise, it wasn't that crazy. I'm not actually sure if this lake has a loop or not. So I have been in the park since 6.40. And it's now 11.15. I am so tired from hiking. I didn't manage to complete this trail because I started reaching a point where bugs were swarming all over me, buzzing near my ear constantly. They kept landing on my skin and it was getting so bothersome. I was stupid and I didn't bring bug repellent, so I had to buy some. I've never heard of this brand, Cutter. I bought it from their convenience store but hopefully it works. I do think that I tend to attract bugs or they like my blood or something because I get bit a lot. It does suck leaving the beauty behind. Uh, it's also so weird when it's barely, it's not even noon yet and I've already been awake for nearly seven hours so it does feel like today I might end up ending my day much earlier than it would feel appropriate to. Maybe I should start heading out first because there's already a line forming and I feel like if I keep talking it might form longer. But anyways, I guess I'm not in a rush necessarily. I have fried rice still from yesterday. I didn't eat all of it. There was a lot so I will have that to eat for lunch. But. I need to remind myself that doing stuff like 
watching something, whether it's a show or a movie, or even playing games on Shane's laptop on vacation, is not a waste because I can't be out the whole time. I get so exhausted and there's only so much you can do in a day that I feel comfortable with. So doing two hikes already feels kind of excessive. I don't know if a third hike would make sense today. I do kind of miss my fucking computer. <laughs> this sucks. Okay, so today is a little bit of a late start for us. Holy shit, I have so many bug bites on my legs. This is so miserable. Ah, oh, rookie mistake, not using bug repellent. Um, shit, my fucking legs. They better stop itching within a day or two. So, I am trying something new today because I am wanted to do a scenic drive with Riley through Grand Teton. And um, I'm gonna try to have her in the passenger seat. She's too big for it though. <laughs> oh god. No righty. Too bad it's so small for you. Shit. <laughs> Right now I am waiting at the south entrance for Yellowstone and I don't know why it's taking so long because if you don't have a pass, don't you just pay and get through? I guess they have a lot of questions and stuff, but it is taking a long ass fucking time. And I guess what sucks is even after getting through this entrance, I feel like the first place of interest is still maybe an hour drive so maybe I won't be as exhausted if the whole time we're just sightseeing and driving through but then that reminds me of my drive over here which I still get plenty tired from so I just don't want to feel like I am freaking three hours from my Airbnb and really really tired I feel like that might possibly happen what also sucks is not being able to access food that easily. Right now I have one granola bar and some beef jerky on me and that's it. And I'm pretty sure those are just really boring for me to eat. Beef jerky gets so boring to me very quickly. And I'm also trying my hardest not to itch my bug bites, but it's hard. They're so itchy. Oh, and actually, great news. I finally managed to find a place where you just rent a raft and just chill on the river by yourself. It's not like a guided scenic tour or white, white water or white water rafting. So it's a place near Missoula. And I'm a little nervous, but I think Missoula might be two hours from my Airbnb. So that's kind of far. But I really 
wanted to do something different. I realized I can't hike every day, so I wanted to go out on the water with Riley. This will be her first time on the water, so I will have to keep in mind that I need to be understanding with her if she ever does anything weird. But the great thing is that it's pretty cheap, $30 a day, I think, for renting. And I might have to rent shoes because I only have sneakers on me. So I'm pretty happy I finally found a place that wasn't trying to charge me $300 or $600. I didn't like the idea of having a guide with me because I feel like I would really enjoy it best if it was just me and her, right? I don't want some random stranger third wheeling on my boat. So far, we drove through Grand Teton and stopped a few times for pictures, but then I started to realize that there are so many spots, so many turnouts where you can stop and take a picture, and I didn't want to stop at every single one, otherwise it would take me forever. So I stopped at the ones that I felt like were unique and different from the previous pictures I took. So I'm really hoping to just get into Yellowstone and see different things so I can get more pictures, but holy shit, Finally, we're moving a little bit forward. I don't know why it's taking so long, but let me uh, take out my credit card. <laughs> she has just been sitting alongside me. What a cutie pups. Also, she is embracing the whole sitting and sniffing out the window thing. So that's not actually something I will do with her very often. Today is an exception because of our scenic drive, but for sure anytime else that we're driving, traveling to places, I would prefer for her to be in the crate because I was thinking that the crate feels like a seat for her, right? The few times that I have her not in the crate and just lying in the back, what the fuck? I think it's my turn. Ha ha ha, that's so funny. The guy dropped something out the window, the employee, and he actually has a tool to grab shit outside the window without having to get out of the booth and walk around. Wow, so handy. <laughs> they have everything prepared. But yeah, anytime, I think it's my turn soon, so hold on. Okay. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Yellowstone. Hello. Hi there. Now it's seven dollars for th seven. I'm sorry. It's thirty-five dollars for seven days here at Yellowstone. Okay. Did you pay coming through the Tetons coming in? Yes. Are you going to go to another national park between now and July of 2020? I can Good take. Pleasure. Okay, then I can take that receipt from uh, the Tetons. Oh. And for forty-five dollars, it'll get you your annual pass. It'll cover you for until July 31st of 2020. Sure. That sounds great. Okay. There's your car, credit you. card back. Hang on to this pass. Treat it just like cash. We have no way to replace it should it be lost. Okay. One minute for your receipt. Okay. Oh, do I need the receipt? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and I've got other information for you. Mm -hmm. Present your card and your ID at any of the national parks across the country and any of the other federal agencies that are listed in this brochure. Okay. And you'll gain entry until July 31st to anywhere that's charged an admission. Okay. Great. Thank you Enjoy so much. You too. Tomorrow, I head out for Sula, Montana, and I'm hoping to stop by Chief Joseph Ranch, which is a ranch in Darby, Montana. I think that's where it's located. It's just north of my Airbnb. That's where they're filming Yellowstone right now. So even though I'm stopping by there, I do anticipate not being able to get in because it will most likely be closed off to visitors since they are filming. I do think they're filming right now for the third season. And I was actually able to watch the second, I was actually able to watch the fourth episode yesterday. I downloaded it here and I enjoyed it. I was glad that I could still keep up with this week's episode even though I'm on vacation. Oh, this is Old Faithful. There's a billion people, and unfortunately, according to that sign, we can't go any further with this one. So we're going to have to watch from afar. I do remember being here with my parents. I actually think after this trip, I'm going to take a look at the photos from years ago and um, compare. Because I know we were here and took a bunch of pictures, although I thought it was more than just I thought there would be a lot more. But yeah, maybe I'll walk around this area for a bit. 
give her some time outside. So I spoke to one of the guys wandering this area and he did say dogs are not allowed over there. I wanted to confirm, but he said we could sit in this log area. So this is where we are banished to. Kind of sucks. I was really hoping to get a picture of her right in front of it without any humans in the way. But that is very unlikely. There are a billion people here. The longer I sit, the more I scratch my itches and it's fucking gross. It's like a bunch of bumps all in one area. Finally, time to get myself some real food. I don't really like the way I handled the food situation today, but it was really hard because I was in these national parks all day. And if I wanted to bring food with me, I feel like it would only be snack items. Oh, hold on. Damn. There's a family right there with a nice house and a large yard. And they're sitting at their table um, in their backyard. Basically, they have like a patio set up and they have part of the, what the fuck do you call it? <laughs> like a roof like coming out above them so they get that shade and it just seems like a really nice way to relax. Um, I actually am starting to warm up to the log cabin look of a house. Like maybe it doesn't necessarily have to be logs, but a lot of the houses around here are just brown. And I don't see that very often, but I am finding myself liking it. So it's my final night here in Victor, Idaho. I just booked an Airbnb for my drive home. I was considering doing the same place I stayed 1, at. thousand feet. Turn right onto Idaho 33 East. All right, I'm going to turn her off. I hate when she interrupts me. So I was thinking about doing the same place that I stayed on my way here in Cedar City, but that is a little crazy because I am pretty sure that would make it so I have to drive 12 hours on the first day, which will make my second day shorter for eight hours, but I don't think I want to do that. I'm gonna die if I do that. So I'm gonna break it up into 10 hours per day, which is two hours more per day, more than me driving over here. So that will be, tough although I guess you know for these long drives I always feel not so bad during the final maybe hour or two so I think maybe it will be all right since it is about 8 40 I did have a salad to eat earlier from Wendy's but I'm feeling hungry still and I'm probably still going to be awake for a few hours so I don't want to be staying in there starving with nothing to eat so i'm going out to try to get some thai food from this local thai restaurant and i have to say maybe it's not the worst idea to see if i can walk around Ugh. see the thing is every time i see beautiful nature around i'm like man i have to spend time in it or you know walking around and enjoying it but the truth is I've been out all day today so I'm so tired and staying in and relaxing and watching stuff isn't the worst thing. I do have to say I have never in my life heard of Victor Idaho and even though it is tiny as fuck with like no markets I haven't even bothered going to a market. There is one here but it's probably really small so I think aside from that though I am so impressed with everything around here it's just so freaking beautiful